Hi everyone, it's Sharon and Jamie. What's up? <laughs> From Sharon at Sea, and look who's back this week. Um, I am back, and I hope you guys notice my awesome outfit that I'm wearing. Um, Sharon always gives me a hard time and tells me to make sure that I dress nice when she makes a video. So today I'm sporting my favorite uh, go fishing outfit with my favorite fishing hat and my fishing shirt. So uh, that's right. I'm not sure if it's such a cruising deal, but I am going fishing in the morning. <laughs> I am going fishing in the morning, and uh, I can also wear this on a fishing excursion on our next cruise. So hopefully That's we right. get that going. Um, hey, so today we're coming at you with some uh, quick tips on how to save money on, uh, cruise. on your cruise, whether it's booking the cruise and things you can do while you're on the cruise to save you some cabbage and um, right. you know keep that money for something more fun, like I don't know the casino or something like that. <laughs> yeah, your casino. Yes. Okay. So, um, we are a little behind on our vlogs this week. We did, this is our one from last week, actually, that we had planned to do, uh, but we got a little emergency situation here at the house. Our son, Matthew, was in the hospital having an emergency appendectomy. Yeah, so, go figure. Yeah, so we were, and Jamie was out of town at the time also, so. <laughs> yeah, so it was a little bit crazy. So sorry we missed a week there. Um, so we're going to make up to it now. We yeah. kind of sat there when we were just sitting around the hospital and we thought, well, what can we do? And we thought of some great tips here, money-saving tips. Mm. We just kind of jotted them all down. So we thought we'd throw all those at you today. Um, and next week, next Tuesday, we will be back on schedule and we're going to just do kind of a QA and a um, by request from one of our subscribers. Oh, and um that sounds fun zayavas zayavas i'm not sure if i'm saying it right you know you have to practice the name before I you know. butcher it but come anyways, on what's the matter with you it's it's for we'll, you we'll get it right when the time <laughs> comes trust me um but we're going to i do answer questions um on the our youtube channel but we also get a lot of questions by email and on our blog as well so i'm going to kind of answer a lot of those questions for everyone and go from there so. All right, and there you have it. All right, so let's start off with some money-saving tips, and um, hopefully uh, everything's good with the sound. I think the last video, the sound was off a little, so um, we tweaked with that, and uh, hopefully we're back up to speed. So, uh, uh, so let's start off, Sharon. Yeah, what is the about, first hot tip that you have well, lined up for people? How about, let's just start with booking. Make sure you book in a good rate, like a rate that will also give you price drops and reductions. Each cruise line has something along those lines. It just has a different name attached to it. So just ask your uh, travel agent or your vacation planner at the cruise line and book in, make sure you book in at that rate. Also, if you're a military or ex-military, um, a senior, you, there, you're, there's also discounts with those as well. So just make sure you inquire about all those. Yeah, we book um, a lot of our cruises, we book out, I mean, pretty far in advance. And that gives us uh, um, something called an early saver rate. And that way, if there are, is a price drop down the road, we can take advantage of that. Yes. And um, if we are still paying on the cruise, it'll just reduce what we have to pay. And if we've already paid it off, we might get like an onboard credit mm -hmm. or something like that. If you're booking yourself, you're going to have to keep track of that stuff. Yeah. But if you use um, uh, an agent or someone to do it for you and they're on the ball, they will do the legwork and right. uh, keep checking that. And um, if they can save you money, then you know you're working with somebody that's pretty And also pretty booking awesome. early. Booking early is a big key to getting yes. the lowest price. That is a big deal for that. So. Some people think last minute deals. The last minute deals aren't so last minute deals any these days. They yeah. used to be in the past, but not so much Yeah, the ships are usually cruising pretty full. So, I mean, sometimes you can get hooked up with a discount if there's an empty ship with a lot of cabins uh, left over. That they're trying to fill them up, but um, doesn't look, happen look too early. much anymore. Look early. I'd say 18 months in advance, sometimes two years, to really get the Nikes. best rate. All right, all right. That gives you a long time to pay on it along, so it, it's, it actually makes it nice. So what's the next one? When? Okay. What time also, of year? Right. Don't be picky about when you're going to cruise, If as long as you don't have to be. Um, if you can cruise on an off-season or when it's not a holiday, you're going to get a much lower rate. The holidays, like Christmas, New Year's, uh, Thanksgiving, are going to be your high, and summer, are going to be your high, high times. Oh, yeah. Spring you're gonna, breaks, stuff like that. It. Spring breaks a little higher. Also, um, some of the three-day weekends, like Labor Day, Memorial Day, um, those are going to be a little higher as well. Not as much as Christmas but um, and those holidays, but yeah. you will pay more. And so, go on kind of the off-season and... Um, 
you'll get a, a much and better And if you're rate. a risk taker, you can book during uh, a hurricane <laughs> uh, season. That's always exciting. Um, very rare does a ship get caught up in that kind of weather. They will sail around it. Yeah. The only bad thing is it can really mess up your ports. You could miss a port. You might have to switch them around. So if you book your own excursions, you might run into some bumps. Um, but uh, but if you go during, what is it, like uh, August, Usually. September... Usually, the likes of that, uh, usually yeah, it's a little usually, bit cheaper because uh, of the weather Well, risks. towards the end of August. The beginning of August is still summer rates for some mm -hmm. some areas. Yeah. So maybe end of August through end of October is kind of the... End of October? Our next cruise is October. I know. We're going during... That's Are we going that, during hurricane we'll season? Be fine. We'll be oh, fine. Oh, boy. So, um, anyways, but those that's a good time to go. Um, if you're going to the Caribbean or somewhere, you'll get a little cheaper. Yeah. But. And look through the ship for, um, for what cabin you want to book. Interior cabins lower level cabins uh they're going to be less expensive and if you're not big on on sitting on a balcony and if you're the kind of person that just will sleep in the room and and do nothing else in there which is what um, a lot of people do yeah. you don't spend much time and you can room. save a lot of money just where on the ship yeah. you decide to book so so you know do a little research on different levels you know forward midship aft uh interior uh, you know stuff like that and uh, that's where you can find some, some better prices as well to save some money. Right. Another thing is your shore excursions. Um, look outside of booking on the cruise line. Um, maybe if there's a port you're a little unsure of, you know, and you want to stick with the cruise line, that's fine. But if you can book, look outside the cruise line, just do your research, um, go with a reputable company. You can also find some promo discount codes online sometimes and um, just do that. They're usually much cheaper that way. Also, um, sometimes just get off the ship and do your own thing. Yeah. You know, kind of just get off and explore. You don't have to always do an excursion and you don't really have to spend much money. Just get off and walk around, explore. Sometimes there's uh, like trolleys or cabs or just things you can just kind of take around and just kind of do your own thing. Um, a lot of people worry about getting back on the ship and if they book their own excursion, do they risk missing the ship? Mm -hmm. You know, as long as you pay attention to ship time and not port time and you know right. what time it is. And if you book an excursion to a place, I mean, so many of them will go to a place where the ship excursion goes anyway. You can see the people there. You'll know who's coming and going and when they're leaving. And most reputable places have a backup plan to get you there. There's so many taxis and buses and things like that they can throw you on to get back if uh, mm -hmm. plan A goes wrong. So yeah, just um, do your research yeah. and be responsible. And <laughs> yeah, you'll get back to the ship, so don't sweat it. Also, um... Pack some snacks, especially if you have little ones, but pack some snacks so you don't have to purchase them at the airport or um, at the hotel if you have a pre-cruise day because that can be, you know, it's just another added expense you don't have to have. You buy them at the grocery store at home and they're going to be much cheaper. Yeah, like my favorite snack, Gardettos. Yeah. I can get a family size <laughs> bag for the same price as I would a baby bag at the, uh, at the airport. Yeah. So if we're traveling, I like to load up before we travel. Sometimes you're traveling the whole day. You're leaving at 4 or 5 in the morning, and you're not getting in somewhere till 5, 6 in the yeah, afternoon. That airport food can get expensive. Oh, yeah. So if you bring some snacks, I mean, you're, you're literally saving 25 to, to 40 bucks right there yeah. um, by going a little cheaper yeah, on your on your travel the, day. Yeah, so you have to pay do for that. the whole family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing is um, all your onboard medications and sunscreen. Make sure you pre-purchase them and bring them along. Don't wait to purchase them on the ship or at a hotel or anything. You're going to pay a lot more, so make sure you bring those with you. Also, do your research as far as um, what kind of promotions may be out there on the ship for specialty restaurants and things like that. A lot of people enjoy eating at the specialty restaurants. You don't have to. The best thing to do is just get on, eat at the main dining room, on the buffet. If you want to save money, it won't cost you another penny things that are included mm -hmm. but if you want to eat at a specialty restaurant just check you know be aware check the activity schedules ask some questions because there are um, promotions discounts sometimes little freebies you can win for um, some of the specialty restaurants um, such as on carnival if you eat in the steakhouse the first night you get a free bottle of house wine mm. included, so there's a, a little perk. Well, and also they have um, they have a restaurant called what Cucina Capitano, Capitano, and if you eat there at night, you pay a little bit of extra money, yeah, like right? Fifteen dollars. But they do they are open for lunch, and there's no additional charge, right, so you can get a taste of the great food they have at lunchtime and not spend the extra money. And um, also, sometimes you get involved in some games on board. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, things that they're doing on the Lido deck or whatever, I where know. if you get involved, you win a free, you know, free steak dinner at the steakhouse mm -hmm. or, you know, a free tour or whatever the case is. So look for opportunities to get some freebies. There's some of them being given out on the ships and they'll save you some money. Oh, how about this? This is one of your favorite things to do. Be a little oh. chummy with the, one of the bartenders. Oh, okay. And Jamie usually finds a, a bartender that makes a good drink and he gets a little chummy with them. Sometimes he gives them a couple dollars and he gets some pretty good drinks or I guess the attention of always being there to give him his drinks. Well, I mean, you know, listen, I, if I'm in the casino, I usually buddy up with somebody and they take really good care of me. And it could be me um, and the effect of the drink or sometimes I just feel like... Uh, the drinks are getting a little stronger as the night goes on. You throw them a little tip. You know, they don't get much tips. And the ones they do get, they're just pull, uh, you know, pulling them together. I don't know the rules and such, but, you know, if you throw somebody a five, you know, five spot here or there, um, maybe they take a little better care of you. Either better service or um, a little stiffer uh, drink and maybe throw them one at you as well. It doesn't happen often, but it never hurts to try. That's right. Another thing, if you are planning on doing any laundry on board... Bring your own little container of soap and dryer sheets because that'll save you some money um, on board. Because mm -hmm. you know they're gonna their little laundry packets are gonna cost a lot more than if you just bring your own. Yes. that's another little just little well, you know, money saving dollars. tip. Um, let's see. Also, if you go if you go to the art auctions, whether you like art or not, hey, take advantage of it. go to the art auction. You get free champagne the whole time you're there. And hey, you may learn a little bit about art too, or yeah. win a free painting. Yeah, or they picture do some free giveaways well or paintings as well, so maybe a little so, value in that too. Yeah, so take advantage of the free champagne. All right, um, <laughs> the next one. So, uh, so for the casino, um, you know, That's pacing Jamie's yourself, get you know, have a plan <laughs> so you don't spend too much money. Set aside a certain amount each day that you can lose, and assume you'll lose <laughs> it. And if you win any or break even, you're ahead of the game. Um, but also uh, bring cash because if you take money out on your card or you use the ATM on board, you will pay extra charges. Um, I know I usually pay like a 3% charge, so every 100 bucks you're paying extra $3 um, you know, to the ship to take the money off of the sale and sign card, and even more so if, uh, if you use an ATM. So bring some cash for that kind of stuff so you don't have to use uh, the ATM or uh, take any money out um, in the casino on your card. Yeah, that's good. Another thing is, if you're looking to save on the cruise, look beyond the biggest new mega ships. Maybe cruise on an older ship. Um, you know, look for some great ports to go to and just pick an older ship. Uh, they're usually going to be a lot less. The newer ships are going to be the high, high rates. So you'll save a lot of money that way. And if you haven't really cruised much before, you're going to think you're on a mega ship. <laughs> so. Well, listen, if you haven't cruised before, then a, a smaller ship will definitely be an awesome experience for you. Yeah. And um, if you cruise more for the ports, then the ship isn't the big, you know, the big kicker for you. So getting on a smaller ship without all the bells and whistles will still be a great experience, and you're still going to get to the ports you want to go to. Um, so if ports is your deal, uh, get on a smaller, less expensive ship, save yourself some, some money that way. Also, another thing is cruise close to home, so you can drive to the port, and that'll save you on some airfare as well. And if you do have to fly, watch for airfares and be flexible. Sometimes, you know, flying in the day before is good. That's always good anyway, so you, you know, take a chance of missing the ship. Also, sometimes staying a day after in the port is benefit you as well but you have to take in consideration your hotel stay that night versus the amount you're saving on the airfare too well, yeah, but I mean, sometimes you if know, three of us are traveling and we can save a hundred bucks a person on an airfare and pay hundred twenty dollars for a night in a hotel right. well then it, make, it. then it makes sense to spend an extra night yeah. um, you just got to watch out what you're paying food and some stuff like that um, and sometimes we will book uh, one way if we see a great one-way rate then we'll book one way on one airline and then look for, for yeah, a, a okay, one way coming there. back. Same airline, different airline, doesn't matter to us how we get there. Um, we're just looking for, for the best rate to get home, um, you know, at, at the, uh, you know, the time that we, that we prefer. Yeah. Also, if you are driving to the port, um, look outside the cruise port for parking. Um, a lot of times there's some outside agencies you can park at for less. There's also, if you're going to be doing a pre-cruise hotel stay, Look for a park and cruise option. You can use, usually 
um, stay that night and leave your car there the whole week. Um, and most of the time, they'll, they do charge you, but it's minimal compared to what you know you're going to be sure. charged at the yeah. port. Yeah, the port parking um, can be like and you know, twenty bucks a day. And then they usually will include a ride to the port and pick up to come back and get your car as well. So you make out all all the way around. So that's another good option to look mm. for. And if you're flying and you do have to pay for your bags, try not to overpack. You know, save you know, save some money. You know, maybe do a little laundry on the ship and just don't overpack. And, mm. You know, because it does get costly, especially if you are traveling with a whole family and you're paying twenty five dollars for each bag. You know, that can really add up. All right. So what do we got next? What do we got next? Okay. So. Oh, here's a great one for all of you who have Verizon for your cell phone service. Oh, are you going right to the? Are you going right to the big yeah. discount? All right. Let's go. You can buy gift cards and you will save ten percent. I know Carnival has them on Verizon and Royal Caribbean. I haven't seen other cruise lines yet, but um, so for instance, you buy a hundred dollar gift card, you pay ninety dollars. You buy a five hundred, you pay four fifty, and I think they have thousand dollar ones. You pay nine hundred. So basically, if you buy enough gift cards up, you know, you go to pay off your cruise, you know, you can save 10% 10, 10 more on your whole overall cruise fare. You can also use those gift cards on board when you get on for your expenses and for basically anything, shore excursions that you book mm -hmm. online, anything. Yeah. So that's a great way to save 10% more. Um, you just, you get online, they're not always available, they do sell out quickly, so you, that's something you just really have to check every few days when you're looking for them, and when they're there, you just gotta grab them. And another thing, if you don't have Verizon, another way to save is also you can buy gift cards at some of the grocery stores. I know um, like Kroger is one, and I know there's yeah, we others have fries that have out them. Here. And you, will, you won't save on the gift card, but you'll get like extra gas points and things for buying the gift cards. And sometimes they have specials where you get four times the gas points and things yeah. like that. So you can save. I've heard of people getting like a whole free tank of gas from it. So well, I mean the equivalent of it. Last time yeah. we did that with the, with the gift cards and we, um, they didn't have them available on Verizon. So we uh, used like Fry's gift cards and then got gas at the Fry station. And I'm getting like a, a dollar a gallon yeah. instead of $2 a gallon. And you know, driving a truck, um, that's a ton of money. Yeah. You know, so I'm that, saving like 30 bucks every time I fill up the tank and you can't beat that. And you can do that a couple times within a month, you know, and that's some big savings yeah, as well. That's so almost that's, the same as getting that 10% right. discount. Right. So you just, you know, look at it as you're saving on gas and you can put that money on your cruise. So. All right. <laughs> All right. So those are some big deals right there. 10% if you're doing yeah. Verizon cards and almost that equivalent by using the gift cards from the grocery stores. Don't miss that. That's a good deal. Yeah. Another thing, um, let's see, cruise lines offer photo packages. I know I've mentioned this on other videos before, but wait until the next to last night and go and just look at all of them and buy a few. Don't go every day and buy them all. You'll save a lot of money. You'll be much happier. Uh, yeah, we know that from experience. Have, I don't know if you see, this is like one uh, twentieth <laughs> of uh, the cruise yeah. photos that we have. We learn we the hard have way. some we don't even have anywhere to post. Over so. time that you yeah. can save money. So save on the pictures. Another thing is take a lot of your own pictures and if you want a family picture, find a nice background on the ship, ask a fellow cruiser to take it of your family mm -hmm. and do the same for them, you know, yeah. so that's a great... Yeah, I mean your phone's gonna give you amazing digital pictures yeah. and you come home, load it on the computer, shoot it over to Walgreens, yeah. CVS, wherever you go mm -hmm. and you got an 8 by 10 that costs you nothing instead of 15, yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah. So, that's another, a good deal. Yeah. Another thing, the spa. Uh, a lot of people like the spa. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, the best time to book the spa is on a port day. Yeah, sure, you want to go into the port and get off the ship, but maybe make an appointment where you get up back on the ship a little early or something like that, come back on, because you're going to get promotions and discounts and your best prices on port days because that's when they have the least amount of business because everyone is in port. So if you want to go to the spa and don't want to pay the price, book on a port day. Yeah, but watch out because uh, they will really lasso you in on um, uh, supplies and yeah. lotions and hair products yeah. and skincare products. Just go in with a good mindset to say no to those things. Yeah, I, just say I, yes to the massage <laughs> and no to the products afterwards. Yeah, yeah I got um, taken in with a few products one time. I, I learned, I learned. Yeah, we yeah. learned. Yeah. You learned. Yeah. We learn. Yeah, the don't, hard way. yeah, and don't have a few drinks before you go to the spa because then they tend to talk you into things. Oh yeah, then you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so um, here's a big one. Um, so alcohol. Uh, you know, we all know that the, the ship the ships are watching for people that bring alcohol on. There's a lot of rules against you. Know, you can't bring it on. They'll they'll. It's a challenge for people to try to uh, you know smuggle their own booze on the ship, and most people seem to get busted nowadays. You can take the risk if you want, but um, uh, one easy way to do it is uh, make sure that you bring your own alcohol onto the ship. Take advantage of whatever you're available to bring. Like, like that, yeah, it's usually your, a bottle your, of yeah, wine or champagne, a bottles. 750 milliliter per adult over 21, 21 mm -hmm. and over. And make sure you bring those on. Also, um, you can pre-purchase alcohol as well yeah. um, and have it in your room. You're going to pay probably four times what you would pay at the grocery store. Um, but drink per drink, if you're making your own drinks versus buying each drink on the cruise, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna be making yeah. ahead. I did the math once, and if you're compare, if you're pouring a one ounce drink uh, versus an ounce drink at the bar, <laughs> you'll make out better. Now, if you're in your room and you're heavy handed, then that bottle can go pretty quickly. Not that I would know anything about that, uh. but um, but you know, dollar for dollar, even though the the bottles cost a huge amount to have delivered to your room when you get there. Um, it's still going to be cheaper than uh, yeah. drink by drink. Yes, and another thing, just watch for drink specials. A lot of times they'll have a, a daily drink special or times where there's a dollar off, this and that. So just watch for those. And oh, and get the, um, uh, look into the beer. There are <laughs> some bigger sized cans or bottles. Um, I know when I'm on Carnival, I always drink Foster Lager beer because uh, the four beers in a bucket is the best value um, for the beer. Uh, again, doing serious math calculations with the alcohol to find the best <laughs> deal um, on uh, uh, you know the beer. So take advantage of that and do that research. Okay. Another thing is make sure you read the activity schedules. Um, they will have any specials or promotions or any money saving things going on for the day in those. So just make sure you check them out every day, you know, and take advantage of anything that you might want to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, don't feel like you have to try every uh, specialty restaurant on the ship. We kind of talked about this already, but yeah, you'll, you're perfectly fine, you know, if you eat in the main dining room, the buffet, and also most all cruise lines have other venues as well that are included, like the burger places, the pizza, 24-hour pizza, um, and a few other places. So just yeah. take advantage of those if you want to save money, and you will not go hungry. In fact, you'll probably go home a few pounds extra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would dare say that's yeah. totally um, true. Also, there's a lot of contests on board. Enter some of the free contests. Sometimes you can win free dinners. Um, we touched on this already, too. Um, we did touch on that already. Yeah, we did. We kind of went up. But anyways, just enter the contest. You might yes. win something free. Free bottles of wine, champagne. Oh, yeah. And other things. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, also, if you're a big soda drinker, Bring your own soda on board if it's allowed with your cruise line. Most cruise lines still allow you to bring a 12-pack of canned sodas per person. There are a few that don't anymore. Uh, but if they do, bring it on yourself, and that will save you uh, some money as well. Mm -hmm. I know you can't bring the water on anymore, but you can still bring the soda on. Um, yeah, that saves so. me money when I pre-order a bottle of, I yeah. don't know, let's say, scotch or whiskey. Yeah. You bring a little soda with you, and then boom, you got everything you need at a cheaper price. Right. Well, and let's see. Oh, don't uh, feel the need to purchase the Wi-Fi package if you don't have to. If you need it for work, then maybe check out and see what kind of promotions or discounts they may have going on and take advantage of those. But if you're just interested in it for social media and things like that, uh, wait till you get into ports. Most ports have some place either a little restaurant bar or a local place where they offer free wi-fi so just head over to that place you you know stay there a few minutes maybe get a drink or something to get the free wi-fi upload your pictures to social media and things there and then you're done well, and you're if you're not sure where to go just follow the oh, people yeah. that work on the ship the they people, know where to go the people from the ship they know where to go for for good meals mm -hmm. for cheap stuff for free wi-fi yep. you know because they're not looking they're not like you. They're not on vacation. They're looking to get off the ship, get a few yeah. things they need, go as cheap as possible, and yeah, get back on the ship. Get a hold of their families and pictures, sure. post on social media themselves, mm -hmm. and they always know where the free Wi-Fi is. Yeah. And you can ask pretty much any ship member on board, oh, where's the free Wi-Fi when we're in port tomorrow? And most of them will tell you. Oh, yeah. So They know um, where to go. So follow those guys. Yeah, and that will save you. 
And also, one more thing again, don't forget to put your phone in airplane mode. Oh gosh, because yeah. Because that, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, there's, a, that, <laughs> there's a lot of hard stories that out there. That will save money, yeah. People that don't put it, they just say, hey, I didn't use my phone, so why is it costing so much? Because that data, yeah. uh, data, data, either one you want <laughs> to go data. with, is, uh, is always working, trying to connect. So put it in airplane mode, and then you use your Wi-Fi to connect to the ship, or uh, keep it on airplane mode in the port, you still use your Wi-Fi to connect when you're off the ship. Mm -hmm. You can still use your camera, you can still use your phone, um, but that way you don't get those data charges because mm -hmm. that is brutal. Yeah. And let's see, last but not least, if you can, book with a travel agent. They, can, they will give you the same prices as the cruise line, the same promotions going on at the cruise line. If there's a reduced deposit going on or anything like that, they will give you that. All that's the same. The one advantage you have is they will get you extra perks above and beyond what the cruise line will get you. They Sometimes they give onboard credit. Sometimes they give you a free bottle of wine in your room. Sometimes you might get a, some chocolate-covered strawberries, mm. whatever. You, you know, you might find a little gift in your room. Um, now, I'm not saying they all do that. It's not like a requirement or anything. But most of the time, they do give you some little perk for booking with them. So yeah. um, do your research. Take advantage. See what your travel agent has and will offer you and um, go with that because you're gonna you know it's you're gonna get a little more for your money that way yes and you can use this travel agent if you want or any other one that you're comfortable with um, but use them and find out you know call a few and, different ones find out what they do for you right. and you know it may not be anything huge but you get a little extra something and, and most you of them will that, watch that for that price drops service. for you as yeah. well so you don't have to worry about monitoring for price drops yeah. so. They should do that for you. They'll do well. all that legwork. And yeah. and that's the way that you're saving time, and time is money, that's and right. that's kind of nice as well. So yeah. uh, use that travel agent, save yourself a little a little time. Okay. Well, so that's about it. I think we came up with about 30 or so money-saving tips, well, cruise some, tips. Some more than others, but keep in mind those big ones, um, we kind of threw them right in the middle of the whole deal, but boy, that yeah. Verizon gift card, getting 10% off the gift yeah. card is huge. I mean, you're talking hundreds of dollars you can save. Yeah, we and, do that all um, the time. Yeah, and the gift cards at the grocery store for gas savings, another huge, big mm -hmm. dollar savings. Yeah. And everything else is just a little bit here or there, uh, which will all add up. If you, uh, you know, do three or four of these things on a cruise, save yourself a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And also, if you have any money-saving tips you'd like to add for our fellow cruisers, I'm yeah. sure it would be well appreciated. Put them down in the comments. Put them in the comments below so everyone can see them. And yes. Take advantage of them. And maybe you can help us save some money. Right? <laughs> That's true. Cool. Yeah, and we always that. want to learn something new ourselves. Heck also, yeah. if there's anything you can think of that you'd like us to vlog about or know about, please send us a message and let us know, and we'll be sure to try to do that for you. Um, also, check out my blog at SharonAtSea.com, where you'll find also a lot more cruise and travel-related information. Um, I do post some of the videos on there, but I also write articles. Uh, regarding some of the same things also other things so you might want to check that out well, i mean sometimes you, you know if there's a great article out there you can put it on there for people to see you know yeah. put together some of your own information to share things of that respond to people when they have questions comments and stuff like that so um uh and she'll be doing it because i know because i'm sitting there trying to get to sleep at night and the lights <laughs> on in the other room and i see her in there working away yeah yeah just uh blogging and blogging away i'm like uh can you end that sometime soon so we can go to bed no i gotta get this done jamie i gotta get it done so uh hey we appreciate you guys watching so we're going to be next week we will watch for us on tuesday we will be doing the q a like i said as a request from zyavis zyavis Anyways, why are sorry. you butchering the name? I know, Have I we know. not covered this already? Anyways, sorry about that. So watch for that. Sorry, we'll Z. Of, <laughs> Just call we'll you call Z, Z, okay? We'll have a lot of questions to answer then. Mm -hmm. Also, after that, we have a couple fun little videos coming up that um, will be coming up, and then we will start getting into our pre-cruise videos oh, because yes. we'll be on the the first part of October will be on the Carnival Breeze, and yeah. it has all the new, some new updates on it, and we can't wait to show you. We have a few interviews planned. And now that I know that we booked a cruise during hurricane season, I'll be keeping out of the weather, <laughs> and maybe you can too. And if you see something <laughs> brewing out there, um, you know, in the uh, in the southeast, give me a heads up, okay? So uh, so I can prepare myself. Anyways, so 
Appreciate it. There you it. go. Watch our videos. And until next time. All right. Happy cruising. Happy cruising. Thanks. See ya. Zovis? What are you sorry. talking about? Zovis? Zyovis? Zyovis. I am so sorry. Zyovis. Zyovis.